What is your occupation? What do you do all day? Full-time student. Okay. Roughly, how many hours a week do you think you spend online? This includes emailing, web browsing, and playing Candy Crush Saga from your iPhone. Like 10. Okay. Roughly, what is the split between email and browsing when you're using a computer or a laptop? Like 20, 80. 20% email. Okay. And what about when you're using a mobile device like your iPhone? Like 10% email. Okay, cool. Um, what kind of sites are you looking at when you browse the web? Do you have any favorites? Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, BuzzFeed. Cool. All right. Thank you for answering those. Now we can start the test. Let me go to the site's home page, which is right there. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I'm going to ask you to look at the page, mm -hmm. and without scrolling, just uh, tell me what you think of it, what strikes you about it, whose site you think it is, what you can do here, and what do you think it's for. I like the background. It draws my attention in. Mm -hmm. It's by Martin and Josh, and you can look at pictures of stuff, something with spiritual and accessories, and how to fold it, I'm guessing, and how to use it. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, this the usability part is actually just where we're posting the videos from like this test. Oh, okay. So the, it, we highlighted a different color just so it's okay. not part of the natural flow of the content, but that's okay. All right, cool. Um, so now I'm going to ask you to try doing some specific tasks. I'm going to read each one out loud and give you a printed copy. And again, as much as possible, it will help you if you can try to think out loud as you go along. Okay. All right. Now you can scroll and click. Number one, what are the hardest planes to make? So I'm guessing that's under the folds. I don't know what a plane is. I uh, like a paper airplane. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna look at it still. Okay, that doesn't seem like it's the right area. Okay, obviously those are not right either. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I found it. It's under gallery. Okay. What do I think is the hardest one? What are the hardest planes to make? Okay. Sort by difficulty. Hard. It's the F-16. Do I have to go? Do I, and then the plane six. Awesome. Sorry. Cool. <laughs> no, that's fine. Um, all right. That's number one. Uh, number two. How many frogs are displayed on the animal page? I'm going to sort it by all ma Wait, actually, I'm just going to look at the animals. There's frog easy, frog medium, and frog hard. There's three frogs. Very good. All right. Uh, what was the original purpose of making a thousand cranes, and who thought of it? I'm guessing spiritual. Is this... Wait. I just want to make sure this is right. Is this the crane one? Oh, I found it. Origami cranes have been used to send to sick people to express express wish, wishes for their recovery, similar to that of sending a get well card in Western culture. However, there is much more symbolic association with the sending of a crane due to the spiritual origins of the origami itself. The idea of sending origami cranes to sick people or loved ones originated from... Sadako Sasaki, a victim of a nuclear bomb dropped on Hiroshima, who suffered from a radiation sickness. Sasaki, began, being a, of a traditional Japanese belief, thought that if she could fold a thousand paper cranes, then she would get better. When her condition did not approve, she began folding the cranes for others with similar afflictions. Each crane she folded became a prayer, not just for the healing and happiness, but also for peace. Awesome. Cool. Um, can you tell me the difference between a mountain fold and a valley fold? Sure. A valley fold, you fold it forward, and a mountain fold, you fold behind. Awesome. Cool. Um, how do you pronounce the word paper in Japanese, and what word has the same pronunciation as it? Um, I 
colored paper. Oh, it's a spiritual connection. Do I have to read the whole thing? Nope, just... uh. So the spiritual connection is obvious when you look at the Japanese word for paper and the word for God. Although both words are represented by different characters, both are pronounced the same. It says follow link to see similarity of both. Okay. Oh, hold on. No, rainbow of death. <laughs> Come on. I'm not good at this. There we go. Paper God. So paper and God have the same pronunciation. How do you pronounce it? Paper God. Oops. Kami, kami. Oh, very interesting. There you go. Cool. All right. Um, name any accessory on the accessory page. The rings. The rings. All right. Cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. The pronunciation is not vital that you get this correct, but what is the proper name for the shape of a regular soccer ball? Hmm. Oh, like the actual shape of a soccer ball? Mm -hmm. I don't know, like a hexagon or something? That's not right, is it? Wait. A polyhedra. Wrong. <laughs> Close. Wait, I'm not there, I'm not there. Oh, okay. It's this one. Truncatic icosahedron. <laughs> Very good. Close, good but enough. yes. Awesome. Now, can you navigate back to the home page, the original page we were on, without using the back button? Awesome. Okay, good. All right, so that's it for the tasks. Now that we've had you navigate through the site... We just like to ask some general questions. Keep in mind that these are mostly opinion-based questions and that there are no wrong answers. Do you feel that you understand the purpose of this website? Yes, to teach you origami and the meaning behind it and different kinds of folds and different kinds of, like, animals playing, stuff like that. Cool. Awesome. Um, did you find it e easy to navigate? Was it difficult getting back to the home page? No. Awesome. And, and navigation is pretty straightforward? Yes, it's very basic. Awesome. Okay. Um, did you ever feel lost at all on the site? No. All right. Um, do you like the color scheme? Yes. I like the bright background. On the homepage? Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, let's see. Was there a moment when you weren't sure where you were on the site? We already answered that. Um, were you able to read all of the texts? Yeah, it was good font. All right, cool. So we shouldn't change any of the size or the color or anything? Um, I don't think so. The yellow on the blue works out nicely? Mm-hmm. All right, cool. It's good contrast. Cool. Awesome. Um, were the animated GIFs understandable on the Folds page? Yeah. Just had to hover. Yep. So it was clear to see that mm -hmm. when it's in Hover to Watch, you knew what you were doing. Awesome. Cool. Um, do you have any other suggestions? No, I think it was put together very nicely. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much. That was very helpful.